We're Chris and Laura, and if you're just joining us, we spent all of last year backpacking the world all the way from South America to Southeast Asia, traveling to 13 countries across four continents. Since coming home to Australia with travel restrictions in place, we've decided to venture near, not far, and explore our own backyard. Uh, uh, um. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the vlog. If you are new here, we are Chris and Laura. We traveled all of last year and now we're back in sunny Melbourne for episode two of our Australia series. Um, if you're new, you can push the little subscribe button right on the screen there and subscribe to Chris and Laura. What are we doing this morning? We left Melbourne early this morning and we've made it to the seaside city of Geelong. We've stopped here for just a little pit stop and a coffee and we're heading another two and a half hours down the coast to a place called Warrnambool. <laughs> Are right, you good? <laughs> he likes to spin when he talks. If you, if you don't know much about the geography of Victoria, <laughs> if you don't know much about the geography of Victoria, it is massive. So we don't often get west of Melbourne too much only because it is so far and i don't think we've ever stopped here we've done the great ocean road a few times but i don't think we've ever made a deliberate stop into geelong and it's really really beautiful it's been too long here but we're gonna take a little stroll we made it to our adorable little airbnb I just want to quickly show them where we've driven from. So we had, we started just outside of Melbourne down here. We've driven through the city. We've come all the way along, right down to here in Warrnambool. So the itinerary for this weekend, planning on hopefully doing a little bit of whale watching this weekend. But I think for tonight, we're going to finish our tea, go out for some dinner, and we'll catch you guys in the morning. <music> Morning, everybody. It is very, very cold here in Warrnambool, and we wanted to wake up bright and early to see the sunrise. More importantly, we wanted to see dolphins. I'm not gonna lie. No, whales. Whales. Sorry, not dolphins. Whales. That's the reason we woke up at 7 o'clock, and we had a beautiful, bright sunrise, but we have also such an incredible view of the ocean. We've been here for probably almost an hour and a half and still no whales. Just really cold hands. But we get to watch the surfers, so. <laughs> oh, you want me to open the car? Yeah, oh. that'll be good. Why, are you cold? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're finally back on the road. We always tend to do that. If we get up super early to do a bit of a sunrise thing, we go back to our Airbnb and we sit there for like two hours. Now we are off to, hold on, what's the name of it? The starting point to Tower Hill Wildlife Reserve. There you go. All right. We'll follow our hearts into the light. Oh damn, this is hard. <laughs> we made it. Victoria's only non-active volcano. That's alright, I don't mind. Hello, Mr. Emu. It's hungry. 
the Canadian. <laughs> look at its claws. It looks like a T-Rex. Well, birds are the closest living relative of dinosaurs. Oh! oh. And there's two kangaroo! <laughs> Is there room for one more? This is probably our, the most favorite part of Warrnambool and why we came here. Probably the reason that a lot of people come here, to be honest. There's a big rocky formation just off the mainland and it's called Middle Island. And what Middle Island is no f known for is a colony of fairy penguins. And if you've ever seen fairy penguins, they look like this and they're the cutest penguins going around. But a while ago, their numbers declined Due to, due to foxes and foxes are an introduced, introduced species in Australia and at one point their numbers had dwindled down to almost 10 and what one farmer did here I can't remember his name but what one farmer suggested was to take the Marema which is an Italian sheep dog big white fluffy dog and he learned that they could be used to safeguard and protect the fairy penguins on Middle Island and the plan actually worked and as you can see G'day mate. <laughs> As you can see, that's Middle Island. And so there's about three or four Mademas that actually guard Middle Island. And it's and, and they made a movie about it. And this based off the movie, or the movie is based off this called Oddball. It's an Australian movie made here in Warrnambool. And it worked. The population of the fairy penguins went up and Warrnambool has their fairy penguins again. So it's a pretty miraculous story when you think about it. Thanks for watching our latest Melbourne adventures. Join us in the next one as we journey back to Melbourne via one of Victoria's most iconic roads. The Port Ferry Lighthouse now because it is absolutely freezing. Please stay safe from wherever you're watching and have a happy week. <laughs>